Hello? I'm here to do the voiceover for the Hungry Hippos movie trailer. It's Hunger Games! Oh, you again. Hello, Frank. Still employed, huh? Guess they didn't get my comment card from last time. Wonderful to see you again as well. The script is already in the booth. Oh, perfect. Then I won't need to waste this toilet paper that I bought. Expensive stuff, you know. You will not crap in the booth again! Afraid of improving the decor in here, are we? Look, just shut your face, roll the trailer, turn on the mic, and call Planned Parenthood. Why would I call Planned Parenthood, Frank? Because I'm about to make love to your eardrums with my sexy voice. God. Don't come crying to me when you're pregnant with my ear babies. Hey, stop doing that. Rolling sound, action. From Milton Bradley. Lionsgate. No interruptions. Finally, a movie where one young girl has to make the ultimate decision of which boy do I like best. I vote for the one that turns into the sexy wolf, personally. That's Twilight. Yeah, you would know. Oh shit, aliens. Okay, this looks promising. Oh, that must be the hippo's ship. A concentration camp for white children only, with a halftime show starring Madonna. Yay! She won the trip to Aruba. But the jealous sister wants in on the action too. Typical sister move. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Wait, what the blazes is going on here? Where are the bloody hippos? It's the future, and Catnip, Katniss, Kit Kat, Katniss, Chip Dip, has to fight an army of hippos who just see her as a delicious white marble. Oh look, it's a guy from Brokeback Mountain. No, it's not. Probably your favorite movie. Yeah, it's an excellent film. From the epic novels that Tween Beat magazine gave five out of five OMGs, the most exciting literary achievement since Super Fudge. Oh, Cloud City, Empire Strikes Back. Cut, Frank. All you have to do is read off the paper. What is with you and the bloody paper? Do you get money every time you mention paper or something? I want some money. Paper, paper, paper. Nothing. Shall we continue? Journey to the center of the L'Oreal factory, where Lenny Kravitz is the head stylist for the evil prom, where Jack Bauer's dad is principal. Oh, I whip my hair back and forth. I love her. I whip my hair back and forth. I whip my hair back and forth. I whip my hair back Frank, and forth. Frank, the paper. Read it. Oh, Woody. Nice hair. Get Lenny Kravitz to help you with that. Lenny Kravitz. Good bloke, but he will relieve you of your girlfriend. Thanks very much for that information, Frank. Yeah, probably not something you have to worry about, though. Is this going to be on ESPN? Because this is a sport I would definitely watch. No, Frank. It's a movie based on a book. Yeah, for little girls like you. Yes, I know. Oh, that guy dies. I'm sure of it. He's got a victim written all over... Wait, does he have victim written on his face? No, Frank. He's just got a fanciful beard. With a lot of curls in it. Crab Dip gets her name on the list at Lenny Kravitz's club, where the VIP room is in the middle of the forest, where the hippos will try to eat you. Run, cat sitter, run! She takes cat sitting very seriously. This spring, prepare to be dragged to the movies by your girlfriend, The Hunger Games, where your food plays with you. Rated HPV for hippo violence. See it and you might get laid. Okay, that was completely useless. Would you like to try it again? Yes, sir, but first would you direct me to the lavatory? Take a right down the hole and it's your first lap. Oh, too slow. What do you mean by that? It appears I've crabbed in your booth again. Deal with it. Oh, good news, though. I didn't do it on your precious paper. Ha <laughs> ha.